at Crater Lake National Park, we came very early to watch the sunrise. We're at Discovery Point Trailhead. It's a very unofficial looking lookout point. It's just to pull off on the side of the road. If you type it into the GPS, it'll take you right here. Breakfast is gonna be a little uh, short today. We have one egg and nothing else. So we're gonna do a deconstructed peanut butter and jelly. Also yesterday the honey leaked so everything is sticky. <laughs> This has been one of the better sunrise spots. We have the one good parking spot. People stop and take a picture and then move on. We're gonna spend the morning here and enjoy it. This is Crater Lake. It was not created from an asteroid blast. This isn't the crater that killed the dinosaurs. This is the result of an imploding volcano. Mount Mazama, Mazama, M-A-Z-A-M-A. -A -A. Never know if I pronounce those things right. It's the deepest lake in North America at almost 2,000 feet. There is no water source that flows in or out of it. It is all replenished by rainwater. Tap my face. No. <laughs> There's a button where you can keep the focus locked on. Spot focus. No. No. 2,000 feet is nuts. I can't really grasp how deep that is. The depth of Crater Lake is almost two of the Eiffel Tower stacked on top of each other. That's insane. Nathan and I just made it to the Crater Lake Lodge. It is within a mile from the same lookout where we saw the sunrise earlier this morning. We are looking for the Garfield Peak Trailhead. Can't seem to find it quite yet, but it is a very popular 3.6 mile out and back with a little over a thousand feet of gain. Shouldn't be too bad, but we're really looking forward to it because it's got some of the best views of Crater Lake. So something else about this lake that I really love is it is a non-boat lake. Not even canoes or kayaks. There's a shuttle that can take you to the island. Other than that, it is just the same view all day long. front sign said it's a strenuous three to four hours for this hike. We're not prepared for strenuous. <laughs> I didn't bring any water or food. 3.4 miles, how bad could it be? I guess we're gonna find out. I think I'm gonna enjoy every angle of this lake. That's the top. That's the end of the trail. I think we're just gonna stop here. Usually we're like, no, you gotta go to the top, but I don't see how the view could be any different. We can see both islands. We can see the entire lake. We're all alone down here. So I think we're gonna sit here and enjoy this viewpoint and then head back down. I wouldn't call this hike strenuous by any means. We did climb a thousand feet and we walked about a mile and a half. So it'll be about three miles total. This was about a three or four in difficulty. There was plenty of switchbacks. It was a gradual climb. It wasn't easy, it definitely wasn't strenuous. So we're gonna head down and eat some lunch. There is a scenic drive in this park. But how much more scenic could it get? Do the hike. We'll probably still do the scenic drive.
Time for a quick lunch before we head to Redwoods National Park. We just got our permit to hike a trail tomorrow, so we gotta get a move on. What's for lunch? Macaroni and cheese. We've eaten our weight in macaroni and cheese and tuna packets, but when we really want something, we don't feel bad paying for it because this is what we eat most of the time. Come into the light. Oh my goodness. Got a little dusty on the trail. And this is how we eat lunch. I don't know if we ever talked about where we got this green couch. We picked this up in Denver, side of the road, for free. If you're ever in a park with these huge sticks lining the roads, that means that park gets a lot of snow. Crater Lake gets over 40 feet of snow a year. That's what replenishes the lake. And we're off. We had to stop at the gift shop to get postcards. These are for our patrons, top tier patrons, if you're interested in getting a postcard from us every single month, check out our Patreon page. Link down below. We drove five hours to get here, did some grocery shopping on the way. It wasn't a bad drive. We are in Northern California. Tomorrow's forecast is supposed to be 90. So we want to get to our trailhead as early as possible. It's going to be an early morning, which means it's going to be an early night. We're going to eat some dinner, shower with our water bottles, and then go to bed. I'm just going to start doing that. I'll probably get lucky. Nathan, this is insane. How are we gonna go to sleep? How are we gonna kill them all? Yeah, what are we gonna do? Ugh.